Hello my dear brothers and sisters, hello respected viewers and welcome to another episode of Welcome to Karbala. But here we are in Samarra. We are in the land of Samarra. You know where Samarra is. Here is where the 11th and the 10th infallible Imams are buried. Here is where Imam Ali al-Hadi Peace and blessings be upon him and his son, Imam Hassan al Askari. Peace and blessings be upon him, are buried. These two infallibles, these two great Imams, are buried here in the land of Samarra. Tonight, I'm going to talk to you about this land and these two infallible Imams, and especially about Imam Hassan al Askari. Peace and blessings be upon him, as we are. In the period of the anniversary of the martyrdom of Imam Hassan al Askari, peace and blessings be upon him. So, first, before we start this episode, I would like to say salam to this infallible Imams. Assalamu alaikum ya wali Allah. I say salam to you, to masters. Of Almighty God. Assalamu alaikum ya hujjatay Allah. Assalamu alaikum ya nuray Allah fi dhulumat al ard. I say salam to you, to infallible Imams, who your delight of the darkness of earth. Assalamu alaikum ya man badallahu fi sha'nikuma ataytukuma za'iran arifan bihaqqikuma Oh my imams I'm coming here to visit you to say salam to you and I try to know you better to learn more things about you Mu'adiyan li'ada'ikuma I feel enmity towards your enemies. Mu'adiyan li'awliya'ikuma And I feel love and friendship towards your friends, your followers. Mu'minan bima amantuma bihi Kafiran bima kafartuma bih Muhaqqiqan لما حققتما مبطلا لما أبطلتما. My dear infallible imams, Imam Ali al Hadi and Imam Hassan al Askari, I'm here to visit you and to say that I am a follower who is following you. My dear brothers and sisters, this was our humble salam to these two infallible Imams. So now I would like to let you for a few minutes feel free with these infallibles, with the holy shrine of these two infallible Imams. And inshallah, everything will be great after watching some nice footages. My dear brothers and sisters, I wish if these beautiful, perfect villages have been great and of course they are great but I wish if you have been able to make a kind of connection with these great pictures and footages I would like to pray for all of you dear brothers and sisters to be here 
in Samarra, inshallah, one time. When you come to Iraq, there are lots of great places to visit. One of them is Samarra. Is the holy shrine of Imam Hadi and Imam Hassan al Askari. Peace and blessings be upon them. Of course, right now, as we are standing in the free atmosphere, the free air, it is a little bit cold. So that's why I'm wearing my coat. It's not just like the other episodes. I really don't like to wear this coat in such a condition, in such a, you know, friendly environment and friendly show but you know this is not to be official this is just because it is a little bit cold light right here but the heat of ziyara the beauty and the warmness of the ziyara of ahlul bayt is so great when you stand in a place through which you can watch to the holy dome of the holy shrine of ahlul bayt peace and blessings be upon them you feel kind of you know warm feeling inside your heart this is so great this is so amazing we are you know in the this period of time in these days we are celebrating or we can say that it is the anniversary of the martyrdom of imam hassan al-askari alayhi salam so in these nights I would like to give you a little bit more information Imam Hassan al-Askari alayhi salam peace and blessings be upon him I don't know if you know or not Imam Hassan al-Askari only lived for 28 years he was Imam for only six or seven years he was born in Medina when he was five years old He came to Iraq. I would like to read these information from the from my phone so I can give you accurate information about him. He was born in Medina. He was born in the eighth of Rabi'ul Thani. And he was murdered in the ninth or in the eighth of Rabi'ah al Awwal of the year 260 of Hijrah. His father's name was Imam Hadi alayhi salam, who is buried next to him, and his mother was Haditha Khatun. Imam Hassan al-Askari is the father of Imam of our time. And you know, Imam Hassan al-Askari and his father, they were living here in Iraq in Samarra. And Imam Hassan al-Askari, you know, his nickname is Askari. And why do they call him Askari? Because he was living in a camp of armies between the soldiers of the Abbasid king. They had a very close eye on Imam Hassan al-Askari, the Abbasid kings, because they were afraid of him. They didn't want him to have any offspring. They didn't want Imam Mahdi, peace and blessings be upon him, and may Almighty God hasten his repairs to be born. So they were trying to keep and limit Imam Hassan al-Askari, peace and blessings be upon him, from every side, from connecting with his followers, with the Shia. Imam Hassan al-Askari, in his time, he tried to teach Shia Muslims how to behave and how to live in the time of the hidings of Imam of their time. So that's why Imam Hassan al-Askari was connecting and talking to the Shia people through his representators, through those who were chosen by Imam to take people's questions and give them the answers which they ask from Imam. Peace and blessings be upon him. There are lots of things about Imam Hassan al-Askari, but let's feel 
that if you were here next to the holy shrine of Imam Hassan al-Askari, peace and blessings be upon him, what would you do? How, how much do we know about this great Imam? How much do we know about Imam of our time? You know, in the same house where Imam of our time disappeared from the eyes of his enemies, it is a basement right here in this holy shrine. It is exactly where holy Imam of our time, Imam Mahdi, disappeared. This is something that God has chosen for humanity because people in the time of Imams, they became so wicked, they became so evil. So they didn't let infallible Imams to live freely and to spread justice around the world because they wanted to dominate their tyrant and oppression and oppressor rule all over the world. Anyway, in this moment and in this time where I'm standing right here, I would like to ask Almighty God to hasten the reappearance of Imam of our time, inshallah. And I wish if all of you, dear brothers and sisters, to be able to be here in this sacred place. Of course, the number of visitors of Imam Hassan al-Askari and Imam Hadi السلام, is not as much as the visitors of Imam Hussein السلام, but we Shia Muslims must make our best to visit these sacred places and not to let these places be free of visitors. So that's why we're here right now, tonight, and inshallah, I would like and I wish if I can see all the mu'minin and mu'minat from all around the world to be here and visit these great holy shrines. Let's have some beautiful footages and connect our hearts to Imam of our time. Connect our hearts to the father of Imam of our time. And ask whatever we would like, whatever we have in our hearts from them. So let's have some great moments, some beautiful pictures and footages. And inshallah, I will be back. <laughs> My dear brothers and sisters, I would like to mention a short story from the life of Imam Hassan al-Askari, peace and blessings be upon him. I told you that this great infallible Imam was murdered when he was only 28 years old. The history tells us when he was a very, very young boy. He was in the alleys and kids were playing, kids in his age, maybe when he was five years old, you know, kids, kids in his age were all playing in the streets and in the alleys. And Imam, when his father, of course, was still alive and Imam Ali al-Hadi was still alive, he was staying, standing aside and crying. One person one of the followers of Ahlul Bay thinks that Imam is crying because he has not any companion, any partner to play with. So he comes to Imam and says that, don't worry, I'm going to give you some toy so you can just play with it. And Imam Hassan Askari gets angry from what he says and says, I'm not crying for the toys for playing we're not created in this world to play 
and then Imam writes the ayah of Holy Quran, which says, The ayah says, أَفَحَسِبْتُمْ إِنَّمَا خَلَقْنَاكُمْ عَبَثًا وَإِنَّكُمْ إِلَيْنَا لَا تُرْجَعُونَ Do you think that we created you for nothing and you're not going to return to us? Almighty God says. Then the person asked the one who was speaking with Imam, says that you're still a young kid. And why are you crying? You don't have any sin. You've not. You've done no sin, and you are a pure person. Why are you crying? He says, Imam Hassan Askari says, I saw my mother gathering woods for to fire and prepare food, and I saw that she is preparing big pieces of wood and puts small pieces of wood under them and ignites them. I'm crying and I'm afraid. If we be those kind of small pieces of wood and ignite the fire of hell. Just let's concentrate. Let's see how pure and how cautious Imams and Ahlul Bayt and infallible Imams were about their do and the hereafter. So inshallah we'll learn a great lesson from Imams, from infallible Imams and learn how to be careful about what we do in our life and not to let Satan to tell us and learn us and make us do evil things. My dear brothers and sisters, I wish if this time that we were together have been great enough for all of you to feel free, to feel near the infallible Imams. So from here, from the land of Samara, I would like to say another salam to these two infallible Imams instead of you and on your behalf and then inshallah I wish and I pray first for the appearance of Imam of our time inshallah and second for your health for the good health for all the mu'minin and mu'minat all around the world have a great time and thank you for being with us good night